cooking out on the trail can be a lot of fun or it can be a lot of work depending on what you're using. Today we're going to be looking at two different camp stove options that we have used here at Big Man Overland that I want you to be aware of. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to Big Man Overland. My name is Aaron and I want to welcome you to this video where we're going to be talking about a two different camp stove options. Now, if you're new to this channel, I want to say welcome to you. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching this episode. If you find yourself liking this video, go ahead and hit that like button, even hit the share if you want, but make sure you hit that red subscribe button. We'd love to have you be a part of the Big Man Overland family. Now, what we have used primarily uh, for a lot of our trips has been a basic Coleman propane stove. Uh, now, this two burner stove has worked great for us. It's affordable coming in at under $100. Um, which you can find probably even cheaper ones online. Now the Coleman stove has been a workhorse for us and we're still holding onto it and we'll still use it from time to time. However, uh, it is a little more space consuming. Uh, the footprint of it is a little bit larger than the next stove that we're gonna look at. However, having the wind barriers on the side, the backing to it, it has worked great out in multiple weather elements. It cooks quickly, however, it does not cook evenly which as you know that can be a problem when you're out on the trail you want to be able to cook good food and you want to cook it well and you want to cook it right and the coleman can be hit or miss in that arena now recently we purchased the jet boil genesis stove now it is more expensive you're looking at 350 for the base model up to 450 if you get the model that has the jet boil uh, skillet and the jet boil pot with it. Now we opted to go without the pot and the skillet because we already have pots and pans that we like that we use and so it did make sense for us to spend an extra hundred dollars on another pair of pots and pans that we don't necessarily need. Now the nice thing about the jet boil stove is that it is compact so in our drawer system it fits in the back corner and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. We actually have gained space by switching to this stove. On the tailgate table we're able to run the propane tank through the side and have it sit on the bumper, which saves us workspace on the cutting board and on the steel table itself. Now here are some of the nice things about the Jetpoil stove. It heats up fast. You can search other YouTube videos and see water boil comparisons and the Jetpoil beats out Coleman stoves and other stoves pretty handily. You can also heat your food evenly. So not only are you cooking fast, but you're cooking well. And that is all the difference when it comes to you're cooking your eggs or your steak or chicken, fish, or even a frozen meal right in a skillet. The other thing that's really nice about the Jet Boil stove, it has what's called the Jet Link system. This means you can buy other Jet Boil burners and you can hook it right up to the stove and you can be running three burners off of one propane tank instead of with a Coleman stove or another stove, you're having to use multiple propane tanks for multiple burners. That is really nice and it is a cost savings when it comes to your propane needs. Now, Jetboil has an array of different options. You know, we have used uh, basic Coleman kettles to brew our coffee or to make soups and different things like that, uh, make pastas. However, Jetboil has a small compact system that you can use for your cooking of pastas, beverages, or any other meal. It's meant for backpacking, however, we have found it really nice for our camp setups. We can have coffee going in about a minute, which is super nice, and you get about 55 to 60 lights per propane fuel tank for their small compact jet boil system. So yes, you're paying a high ticket price for the item, however, it's an item that's going to last, and it's gonna work well, and it gives you a lot of flexibility to add on extra burners, stoves, uh, and other things like that. So thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, adventure is calling. Are you going to answer?